Alex here, your V-Ray guide, and today I want to show you how you can make seamless textures without any tiling. I know this is a common problem, a lot of textures from internet, a lot of good textures from internet got this weird tiling going on where you can see the repetitions of the texture, and I want to show you how you can remove that. So the first thing, um, let me show you what, what styling is all about. So if I'm going to go to the canvas image and for instance, I'm going to give here 60 and here, uh, let's say 40. We'll be able to take this texture and duplicate it one time. And then we can duplicate it like this twice. I'm going to merge down uh, the image. Whoops. I'm going to merge down those layers. And um, I'm going to crop them. So I'm using select, inverse, and image crop. Okay. So this is basically the tiling uh, of this nice texture. And I'm going to show you now how you can fix that in order not to have those weird white lines in your texture. Okay, so um, let me duplicate this one and um, I'm going to keep it aside for our reference. I'm going to come back to my texture here and I'm going to go back and I want to explain you the first, the basic first principle about seamless textures is what we're going to do is we're going to we want we're aiming to uh, have the upper part and the lower part match each other so what we need to do we need to take the upper part flip it we need to take the uh, lower part flip it so basically we cut the image into two parts and we flip both parts and then both parts match each other perfectly okay so let me show you how we can do that I'm going to duplicate this texture and I'm going to press Control J. So um, I'll create a new layer from this texture. Then I'm going to press Control and click on the image. I'll get selection, select inverse, and I'm going to go down and click in again Control J. So basically, I have, if I'm going to close those two textures, I have one texture of a lower part and another one of a of an upper part. Now what we need to do, we need to flip them, right? So we're going to go to transform, flip vertical, same thing for this one. I'm going to go to the transform, flip vertical, okay? And here we go, we have both of those textures with the, uh, with the tiling. So um, what I like to do is I like to combine those, merge those images add a mask to it and use sharp pencil not a soft one because the soft edges will give you uh, will give you kind of blur in between so you want to you want to use the sharp one in order to avoid those those blurs so something like this just keep going till you find this perfect pattern where it's not really repeating and it's not really not iceable, right? So something like this could work fine. Why am I using mask? It's uh, easy because I can switch back to the white color and I can recap that if I if I deleted some something more than I should. Okay, so now it looks good. We don't see any any of our repetitions. We can merge it down and now we need to do the sides so same principle we take the left part uh, we crop it flip it take the right part crop it flip it and we match them both together in order to avoid seamless in order to avoid tiling okay so here again control j control and click selection invert selection control j again so we have those two parts now uh, we're going to merge those parts. Oops, sorry. We need to flip those parts and flip horizontal. Whoops. I need to be on one selection, so make sure 
one selection flip horizontal one time flip horizontal twice now you can merge those texture down and again add in a mask and having the base texture under we can clean those seamless parts from our texture okay something like this now if your texture got a lot of different patterns or curves it might be very difficult to do it with uh, with a sharp pencil so in that case you might want to use a softer pencil you will have those uh, those gradients those uh, kind of uh, soft transforms from one texture to another but you'll be able to remove the tiling so uh, the purpose of this is to remove the tiling and so we will not be able to see those white lines um, that obvious okay so let's merge this down and uh, voila we have our texture uh, our seamless texture well done okay so we're gonna flatten the image and uh, let me show you if uh, how we fix that how our texture look uh, look like when it's being duplicated multiple times in our 3d scene okay so i'm going to take this layer gonna drag and drop perfect i'm gonna do it one more time now uh, let's let's merge those down And let's do selection, inverse, image crop, oops. And voila, we have our seamless texture. Let's uh, bring up that uh, other file that we had. And we can compare both of them and we can see clearly that our texture got looks way better got no tiling at all and uh, it's ready to use in 3d max okay so uh this is it this is how you fix your tiling if you have any questions post them below this video and i'll be more than glad to assist you all right so uh this was alex your viewer guy take care ciao